Hello everyone. In this session, I would like to discuss about string methods in JavaScript. Let me create one string and then see how many methods are there. After that, we can discuss about those methods, each and every method. First, create one string. Okay, if you want to write in JavaScript code, I don't want to write in one JS file. Okay, just I want to use like a console as an editor. So open your browser, open a new tab, right click on that one, inspect it. Then you can find one more window. That window we can call like a developer console window. This console, inside this console, I want to write our JavaScript code. Just create one string, name equals to such. Is my string. Okay, whenever you created a string with this particular variable name, internally what happens, you know, internally you create an object for one class, which class that is like a string class, so that internally at the time of executing this statement, internally how happen, okay, how it's what means it create an object, create an object for string class, string class by passing this particular value as an initial data, like this. Once you create an object for one class, by using that object, whatever the methods are there inside that class, we can call it or not. This is the thing is happening. So what methods are there? What methods are there inside that class? I want to check it. Each class, string class. If you want to check all the methods in, inside my string class, we are going to use like a prototype, okay? It's like oops concept, I will discuss that time. Okay, see this, string dot prototype. Now see these many methods are there inside my string class. So few of the methods we are going to discuss. Okay, let's start. This is my string. This is my string. I want to find the length of the string. How we can mean it's named on Yes. I want to find inside my string, my h character is there or not. I want to check. How we can check means name dot index of index of h. If it is there at that time, it returns me the index of this particular H 0, 1, 2, 3. Otherwise, otherwise it returns me minus 1. Name dot index of index of Z or X is there or not? Not there. So that returns me what minus 1 or not. Next, includes method is there. Name dot includes includes of H includes of H is there. Then that time it returns me true. Otherwise, it returns me false. Series. H is there, so that it returns me what true. Okay, X is not there, so that it returns me what false or not. That is the includes method. Index of and includes methods used for that particular string contains this content or not. Okay, that particular string has this H or not. Okay, has this H or uh, has this H or has this X or not. Index of method returns me a number. Okay, if it's like a positive number, you can say like that particular okay string is there. Otherwise, if it is written to me minus one, then you can say like it is not there. Okay, includes method written to me true, then you can confirm like it's like that particular particular string contains this H. Okay, if it is written to me false, then the time you can say like that particular string is not having this X. Not only only one character, we can write any number of characters. For example, C H I is there or not? I want to check it. So how you can check it? Name dot index of you can use it. Index of you can use it. Or name dot includes you can use it. Includes any one of these one characters. See, okay. If it is there, my index of method returns me a positive number. If it is there, my includes method returns me what true or not? Okay. Next. Okay. Name dot character yet. Character yet. This particular position. At this particular position, second position, my character is what? 0, 1, 2. C or not? Character yet. The next one, for this particular C, ask key value I want. Char code yet of 2. Now see, this particular character code, ask key code, it's like 99. Character yet, char code yet. The next one, this is my name. Okay. Which contains which contains, okay, how many hits are there? Only one H. Okay, that particular H I want to replace. So how we can means name dot replace, replace my H with X. H with X like this, you can replace it. See this, my name is like this or not. Okay, my name is like this only, this particular one, replace, replace, returns me the updated string or not. 
update a string or not my name is like a immutable okay it's not changed okay with the new changes it's going to create one more string one more string okay so that you can replace your h with x or not like this you can replace it okay now i want to check my name starts with starts with yes or not yes or not okay it said like false why well, you know this is the name it starts with capital letter but you said like small letter so that it doesn't be false or not make sure the exact character you have to use either capital or small now see it starts with this or not same like this ends with this there ends with ends with okay ends with what ends with the n yes true ends with capital n false or not like this starts with and ends with is going to work now the next one is like this is my name i want a part of a string a c h i want then the time you can go with the slice name dot slice a c h start is it starting index is what zero one one how many characters you want from there one two three characters i want so add that how many character characters you want add that number to this particular starting index okay one plus three is like what is what so that is using that one or not not only this one the same functionality can get by using substring also substring also one comma four you can get the same output or not the difference between slice and substring is slice always expecting the first starting index should less than the should less than the ending index okay but my substring you can swap it also four one also you can write then the time you can get this output only okay internal swapping is happened for substring for slice always expecting start should less than the end the next one sub str is there name dot fub str okay one comma four okay here my starting is like one from there it's take four characters from there it's take like four characters see my starting is like one zero one from there it's take like four characters one two three four like this it's going to take that is the sub str okay for example this is my name okay there has some spaces or there there has some spaces or there like this okay the starting or ending then the time we can use like trim method trim is the method trim then the time series you can see like this or not see my name okay still it is there way because i already told to you it's like immutable nature we are not able to change this one if the changes new string will create or not okay if you want trim in the left side trim left only okay Okay, if you want right, trim right, trim right, like this you can do it. Now, if you want to convert this one to uppercase or lowercase, so that how you can means name dot to uppercase, uppercase is the method. To uppercase, U P P R C A S C is not a function. That means can you check? Yes, can you check? It's converted like this or not? Name dot to lowercase, lowercase. Okay, you want to convert all the lower case or not? These are the frequently used string methods. Thanks, guys. Thanks for joining.